Here you have a guide to your daily handstand practice, which you can include in your training routine. I'm going to explain all the exercises as we go along. We are starting with a warm up. Just gently roll your shoulders backwards and try to keep the rest of your body as still as possible. Now just circle your arms backwards. Try to create big circles and try to not move the rest of your back. Then we are doing the same thing just with the wrists. Include your fingers as well and now just open and close your fingers as fast as possible. If you already feel warmed up you can skip this section but other than that please warm up before doing handstands. Now just curve your body and open back up. Create a maximum curve with your upper body starting from your rib cage. Continue doing this movement a few times more. And curve and open. Curve, open, curve, open. The next exercise we are going to do is a strength exercise for the arms. We are going to dive through. Keep the hips off the floor. And then push back up into a triangular shape which is a leg stretch as well. For the advanced version, you dive through and you push up, bending your arms. So here we go and dive through, push back up. Dive through and push back up. Dive through and push back up. Dive through Push back up, keep your hips off the floor and dive through and up and down and up, stretch your legs and dive through and back up, stretch your legs and dive through and back up. One more time and back up. Flexibility in the legs is really going to help you in your handstands. So here's a little stretch. Step your legs apart twice as wide as your hips are and try to touch the floor. Now slowly move over your right leg and try to touch your foot with your hands. Try to breathe in this position and lengthen your spine. Then move over to the left side and do the same thing. Touch your foot, lengthen your spine and try to breathe. Then come back to the middle one more time and see if you can go a little bit further down. The next exercises are going to prepare you for a handstand. Get into a plank position, try to keep a really straight body line. Your head is in line with the spine and you let your shoulders sink in and you push them back up. So here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head in line with the spine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pull your belly button to the spine. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. And push to the front. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now lower down to your elbows in the plank position. Keep the belly button pulled to the spine and we do the same thing. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then we push front and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. We change to a sideways plank position and push our hips up and down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18. Now switch to the other side, do the same thing. Keep a straight body line and one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now we have prepared our upper body for doing handstands and we can start doing exercises using the wall. This first exercise here is just basically walking up and down the wall. It is essentially the same as if you were walking on all fours, just that it happens in the vertical. Here you can really use your shoulders as much as possible and push and take real big steps with your arms. Like that you will build strength for the handstands best. So let's just do this a few times. Walk up the wall and walk out again. One more time, walk up. and walk away again from the wall. Take a little rest and then walk up again. And walk out again. We do it a few times more. Ideally, you should reach a straight handstand position here. But if that is still quite a challenge for you, you just walk up and down the wall within the range that you feel comfortable. And a few times more, walk out. and walk up again. Now, even if your shoulders are tired, really try to take big steps and push yourself away from the ground. And the last time, walking up and walking out again. Relax for a second and circle your wrists. We are now ready to do handstand endurance holds against the wall. We are going to aim for 30 seconds, but if that is too long for you, then you may stop after 15 or 20 seconds as well. In this position, keep in mind to push your shoulders out. Don't be too far away from the wall and don't arch your back, but also don't lean against the wall with your hips. So here we go, 30 seconds. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push your shoulders up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And push up one more time. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29 and 30. Well done! Now relax, circle your shoulders a little bit and we are going to do the same thing again. 30 second handstand hold. Push your shoulders out, don't arch, don't lean against the wall with your hips. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and push up through the shoulders. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten more to go. Twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, push up, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 seconds. Well done. You can repeat some of the exercises we did for a warm up to start with to relax your shoulders. Next, we are going to do the same exercise but we are going to face the wall in a handstand now if this is too challenging for you then feel free to face outwards as we did in the beginning or if 30 seconds are too long for you you can also just do 20 seconds or 15 seconds the main important thing is that you do endurance sets so here we go facing the wall and one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, push up through the shoulders, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 seconds. Well done. In this position you should really try to maintain a straight shape, squeeze your bottom and don't be too far away from the wall. Now if you like you can include a few more of these endurance holds in your training but I would like to move on to the next exercise now which will help you to stabilize your kick up into a handstand. So all we are going to do now is kicking up into a handstand but instead of holding the shape here we are going to use a little bit less momentum and reach for a point which is just slightly before our balance point so that we can comfortably kick up and come back down. So this is just about closing your feet and then coming back down. Every time your hands touch the ground, think of pushing the floor away and imagine that your feet are pulling you towards the ceiling. This exercise will help your body to develop the coordination necessarily for the kick up and you will also develop more strength. If you like you can do this exercise with the wall behind your back for safety. Now let's do a set of 10 of these kick ups. And here we go. And one. And two. Push into the ground. And three. And four. Four, your feet are floating towards the ceiling. Five. Six, push into the ground. And seven. And eight. And nine. And last one, ten. If you would like a challenge, you can do this exercise going through a tuck position as well. It is basically the same thing. As your hands touch the ground, you imagine pushing into the ground and your feet are floating up towards the ceiling. So whichever way you want to do it, let's just do it again 10 times. And up. And two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. That was your daily handstand practice. So you see, you don't have to practice handstands for hours every day in order to get better. With this daily handstand practice, if you do it three or four times a week, your handstands are going to improve. Now I hope that this little tutorial was helpful for you and fun. For more information about my teaching and my workshops, you can visit my Facebook page or my website.